Welcome to my top 5 list of weapons in first person shooters. I've considered doing videos like this for quite a while but never really thought I'd be able to decide on things for the list. I'm not good at choosing favourites. But one day I decided to give it a shot. But before I get to the list I just want to quickly mention a few weapons that didn't quite make it on. I could just call this a top 8 instead but I don't feel like it so deal with it. Anyway here we go. The Dragon Claw from Heretic. Everybody knows I'm obsessed with dragons, and if you didn't know that, well, I am. But no, it's not just because this weapon has dragon in the name. It's because it looks cool, sounds cool, and just is cool. And then it gets even cooler when you use a Tome of Power to make it spam spiky balls all over the place. Unfortunately, this weapon actually doesn't seem quite as powerful as it feels in regular or powered up mode, but it's still just awesome. Just listen to that. How cool! The Devastator from Duke Nukem 3D. It's like dual wielding double barreled rapid fire rocket launchers, and it feels equally as powerful, at least to me. They may not be the biggest rockets or cause the biggest explosions, but they certainly pack a punch. Many punches spreading all over the room. In fact, it even kind of looks like you're wearing big robot fists or something. So they even pack a punch in appearance. The Singularity Cannon from Unreal 2. When replaying this game, I'm always looking forward to the final level, because you get this thing. It fires black holes for gosh sake. Yeah, I don't really need to say anything more about this, I'm sure. Some kind of alien appendage attached to your arm that fires black holes. You want it. And now to get to the list. Keep in mind these are my own personal opinions from the games that I have experience with. I'm sure there are a lot of amazing games that I haven't played yet and would enjoy, but at this moment in time, this is the best list that I could put together. Also, some games in this list have multiple weapons that I love, but I've kept it to one per series. So without further ado do, let's get this going. Number 5. The Super Shotgun from Doom 2. What? Doom is this low on the list and it's not even the BFG? Of course Doom had to make an appearance on my list somewhere, being my favourite game of all time. Though, believe it or not, I always didn't put it on here. I'm sure if you ask a bunch of people for some of their favourite FPS weapons, plenty of them would instantly go for the BFG. But to be honest, I'm actually not that much of a BFG fan. Sure it's awesome and powerful, but I don't know. It may just be because I've played so much Doom and everybody knows the BFG is great, so it maybe starts to feel a bit overrated to me. But the double barreled shotgun is still very satisfying for me especially when you have large groups of zombies giving you the opportunity to completely destroy multiple of them with each shot. And not even just that, I also love sticking it right into the face of a tougher enemy like a Kakodemon or a Hell Knight and giving them the full load of both barrels. And that reload sound after firing. So tasty! Number 4 Wingsticks from Rage Freaking Wingsticks! Like many people, I didn't care too much for Rage. It was decent enough, but it wasn't what I wanted or expected from id Software. But just the Wingsticks alone were fun enough to make me more interested in playing through it again than I might have otherwise been. When I recorded my first time playing the game, it took me about half of the game to finally discover the overpoweredness of the Wingsticks. And as if they weren't good enough already, you then get advanced wing sticks later in the game. Bruh. Flying spinning blades of death that bounce between enemy heads, killing almost any enemy in one hit. And then to top it off, they even come back to you pretty often. In fact, 
It made me want to do some kind of challenge run through the game using only wing sticks. I honestly don't think I would ever get tired of using them. Number three. The glue-on gun from Half-Life. No, this isn't a glue-on gun, as in a gun that you glue onto something. It's a hose that fires a spiralling beam of splattery death. This weapon would probably take number two if only you got it earlier in the game, were given more worthwhile moments to use it, and it didn't take so much ammo that you can barely ever use it. At least I barely ever used it. That might just be down to me considering it too good to use, just like Elixir's in Final Fantasy. Anyway, I feel this weapon would be perfect in a more arcadey action based FPS, rather than a heavily story driven one. It's a gun that makes me want to fire it into groups of enemies and make them splurt all over the room. In fact, now that I think about it, it's like a constantly firing railgun. Number 2 the Hyper Blaster from Quake 2. Oh man, there are a lot of great weapons in the Quake games. The Super Nail Gun, the Dark Matter Gun from Quake 4, the Rail Gun. But I ended up having to choose the Hyper Blaster from Quake 2. For some reason I just love everything about it. It's like a laser chain gun and it's just as powerful as that sounds. Maybe even more so. You tend to get plenty of ammo for it, it kills everything super quickly. And the front of the gun spins around while going pew 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 pew! In fact, if I ever want to cheer up with a nice healthy dose of murder, I think I would be more than satisfied by sticking on an infinite ammo cheat and running around just mowing everything down with this amazing thing. Number bloody one. Do, 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 do. The Flak Cannon from Unreal Tournament 2004. I don't know exactly what it is about this gun, but it's just so satisfying to use, especially when you shoot the alt fire, some kind of shrapnel grenade, and get a direct hit on your enemy, creating an explosion followed by the pleasant sound effects of pieces of their body splattering all over the place. Rampage. To be honest, my love for this weapon might be just more because I enjoy the game so much, but just think about it. It's a gun that fires out sprays of razor-sharp shrapnel that tear your enemies apart into delicious gooey pieces. You can't not love that. It just oozes fun, and with a well-placed shot or two, will make those foolish enemies ooze too. But why Unreal Tournament 2004 specifically? I don't know, I guess just because I think that's my favourite one in the series. If I remember right, the one in the original Unreal Tournament has a smiley face on the front of the bomb. Or maybe it's there in 2004 as well. It's been a long time. Unstoppable. And that's the end of that! Remember, these are my opinions, so don't eat me. Instead, I'd be interested in hearing your own thoughts in the comments. So I guess technically reading your thoughts, not hearing them. Unless you decide to also make a video of it. Anyway, I might be interested in doing more videos like this, so maybe some of you could suggest some things that I might be able to make top lists of. Preferably things that seem like something relevant to me. Hopefully you have some idea of the kind of games that I enjoy if you've been following my videos for long enough. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you later, blokes and blokettes.